Hi everyone, this is Andy Bourne, the math guy from Minnesota. This tutorial will get you up to speed on the unit circle, what radians are, the angles, and points. Now if you want to learn this fast, this is the tutorial to watch. So this is what you're going to see. What the unit circle is, how degrees and radians relate, finding radian angle, finding the xy exact coordinates of important radian measures, all under 8 minutes. First, let's talk about what a unit circle is. What you're seeing is an xy coordinate grid, a typical plane with xy pairs. The unit circle is centered exactly at the origin. There it is, little unit circle with a radius of 1. Let's zoom in to get a little bit closer look here, and in we go, and right about there. There we go. Okay, so the most important thing about a unit circle, it has a radius of 1. So if we lift out this little blue chunk right here, that is 1 unit long. You can see between 2 and 3 and 0 and 1, that is 1 unit long, 1 radius. Now suppose we curve it slightly. We're going to take this little purple piece right here. Same length, it's purple. And what we're going to do is we're going to stack up a few on the outer edge here. So we need a few more. One, two more, three more, and we need, and we're just going to slide them into position here. So you'll notice as we move these three radii into position that they almost fit the entire upper half here, but there's a tiny bit that is not covered. So we have three, and oh, there's this little tiny piece right down here. What should we do with that? Let's, let's get it into position. That tiny little piece is 0.14159, on and on and on. And so what we have here is 3.14159, that's pi. So the top of the circle is pi radians, and the bottom half is also pi radians. So the complete circumference around a unit circle is 2 pi radians. This should be familiar. If we go to the uh, formula for the circumference of a circle, circumference c equals 2 pi r. Well, <laughs> since we have a radius of 1, that makes the math simple, right? And there you go. Now you know how the formula got to be that way. Okay, now I'm going to tell you how radians and degrees relate. What you're seeing here is a slightly different picture of the unit circle. We're going to color coat things here. The red side moving around, we're going to call the terminal side, and the green one, we're going to call the initial side. So I put it in your heads a few minutes ago that radians is a length, and I'm going to adjust this so that there we go. The terminal side is one radian distance away from the initial side. So where the mouse is going, that's the length along the edge of the circle. Also, a radian can also be describing the angle formed from the terminal side in the initial side right in here. Okay, well let's bring degrees into this. So there we go, we see that this is 57 degrees and it's also one radian. Alright, so you might be looking at these two and thinking that they're not very natural, they don't really go together, but let's start moving them around and we'll see where they kind of match up and where we can put these two together. So here's the very first place that they seem to match up nicely. It's halfway across the top, pi over 2, and it's 90 degrees. Let's take a look at two more. We have 1 quarter uh, all the way across and 3 quarters all the way across. Pi over 4 is 45 degrees, and over here we have 3 fourths pi is 135 degrees. And at the very end we have one complete pi, 180 degrees. We have a few other important ones. There is 30 degrees, which is 1 sixth pi. 60 degrees, and that's 1 third pi. Right here we have 120 degrees, and uh, the computer didn't make the radians look nice, but that is 2 thirds, or 4 sixths pi. And finally, 150 degrees, 5 sixth pi. Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about converting between degrees and radians. The formula for converting between degrees and radians is you take degrees, divide by 180, and multiply by pi. Okay, so I'm going to move the red ray around a little bit, and let's see how to convert degrees to radians. 
Okay, so I'm going to bring in a calculator here. This is a graphing calculator. 72.06 divided by 180. And then we will multiply that by pi and hit the equals button and look at that, 1.257. Okay, let's go the other way. Let's convert between radians and then convert that to degrees. And here is the formula. Radians divide by pi, multiply by 180. And there you go. So let's bring back a calculator and we can see here the calculations already in. There it is, 135. All right, we're on to the last part. So what you're seeing here is the complete unit circle. I'm going to show you how to find various points of interest, the x, y coordinates along the outer edge of the circle. What you're looking at is the upper right fourth of the unit circle. Let's take a look at this x, y coordinate right here, 30 degrees or pi over 6. The x coordinate is square root 3 over 2, and the y coordinate is 1 half. So think of this as being part of a triangle where the bottom leg is square root 3 over 2 long, and the taller leg right there is 1 half unit high. Now think about the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is exactly one radius long. Now here's where sine and cosine come into play. If you take the sine of pi over 6, you will get 1 half. And if you take the cosine of pi over 6, you will get square root 3 over 2. Although it might come up as a decimal on your calculator, you can easily verify that that is indeed the number. A final word on some strategies for memorizing the coordinates along the outer edge because your teacher might have you memorize these. Look for patterns. They are all over the place. You'll notice that the 30 and the 60 degree, they're kind of like a reverse of e each other. And the coordinates on the other side, the x coordinate is the same except it's negative. And keep this in mind, you only have to remember three numbers. 1 half, square root 3 over 2, and square root 2 over 2. Peace.